Mickey, at the end of the day, another victory. Happy with that? Not really. Probably not one of my best performances, but you know, it is one of them. Um, I had a little, I had a, an injury during the camp, so I couldn't spar for this fight. I've only known three weeks. Obviously, I boxed the other day, but I had no spar and no nothing for this one. But no excuses. It's one of them. I'm an opponent, and I need them to, when I do get further in my career, to know what to do in the uh, times. Your opponent's record is quite misleading. He is as tough as it gets. So was that the kind of fight that you were able to learn a lot from? Yeah. From? I'm not being funny. I don't think I'm going to get another hard opponent than that. Like no one really gets him out of this unless you're a big puncher. I'm not being funny. My hands on his head. That's right. That's how hard it is. But do you know what I mean? He was, he was just tough. And every time I tried like holding him to push him back, he just I got nut nutted. It ran the back of head. One of them. I think I got a little bit, a little bit old man today. I've got uh, showed a few lessons, but that's what I need for these for my career. You know, obviously, as you said, you know, it wasn't a perfect camp. It wasn't, it wasn't what you wanted. But was there still a lot that you've been able to learn, and you're going to be taking away into your next fight? Yeah, yeah 100. I learned one from every fight, but I think that one has taught me a, like a tough lesson that you need to have during a pro. And if I don't have them, like I said, my last one, when I come up to these fights, I'm not going to know what to do, and that's put me in good stead for the next one. Before this, you had knocked out your first, your last four opponents. Yeah. Do you think this was almost the better thing? Get those rounds in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I've never done six, and I was like, I'd like to do six, and now I've done it. Oh no, I've got it under my belt. Do you know what I mean? Sorry, but uh, no, I'm not very happy with it. But what can you do? You can't have a perfect night every night. Do you know what I mean? Were there certain areas of your game then that you say and your coach is saying we're going to need to work on that? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like I was already said that we're going to need to work on a few bits. Um, do you know what I mean? Obviously, he's a bit smaller than me. I'm not really used to that, but it's all a learning curve. You know what I mean? It's all a good, it's all a short journey. And I'd like to have had these times now, and I would later on. That being said, then is the idea to take a few weeks off, get a holiday in, let the body heal? Yeah, I'm going to have a couple of weeks off. I'm going to Nolly next week, so I'll probably get back out in September and then learn from learn from this, and you'll see a better one, better than Mickey Burke September. We'll be continuing to send you over more rounds then. Yeah, yeah. I think the next one's eight rounds. I think hopefully, so I hopefully get. Get that underneath my belt, and uh, do you know I mean, I think I've done the weight wrong this one. I was a bit heavier than what I normally am, so I'll be back down to my normal weight. And every, every, I've got to work on a lot of things. You know I mean, I can't have a quick camp, everyone. That being said, do you feel that you showed that you are more than capable to do these rounds? There was no issues with stamina, fitness. No, no, no. Obviously, I've done the six rounds. Um, in my back of my head, I think I don't want to blow myself out because I've never done the six, blah blah blah. But now I've done it. I know I can do it, so it's put me in good stead. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. Regardless, congratulations on another victory and can't wait to see you out soon. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Thank you.